Hey everybody, welcome to the top producer class for today, your Friday top producer class. I am Paul Baxter, I'm the implementation coach for the Mortgage Mastermind Group, definitely here to help you grow guys. So this whole month we've been focused on presentations and different types of presentations and I wanted to give you, we, we've, we've covered lots of different ways to, to present and how to promote it and things like that and so I want to, just like last week, I want to give you a done for you presentation that you can literally take, edit out the little red parts and you'll see where those are in the presentation and make it yours. I'm going to be presenting this today to you as if you were real estate agents. So take a moment real quick here and put your real estate agent hat on. Don't think of this presentation as if you're the loan officer presenting it. Think of it as if you were a real estate agent actually sitting in front of me and, and I'm talking about your business and things you can do. You're going to have some specific questions in this and, and I'm going to address those, but I want you to pretend that you're real estate agents and I'm going to pretend I'm the loan officer and we're going to kind of dive right in. So that being said, here we go everybody. Today's done for you presentation. Hey guys and girls, thanks for coming and attending my class today. What we're going to be talking about is six steps to great real estate branding in today's market, which you'll, as I'll point out throughout today's presentation, you're going to see it's a little bit different than, than what it used to be. What does today's market look like? Well, 60% of agent pros, agents prospect for leads daily, 26% devoting several hours a day to prospect. Does that sound familiar to each one of you? I'll bet it does. But are we spending those prospecting hours in the right place? Consider what you're seeing each and every day around you. When you go out for dinner, you see couples on their cell phones. When you go to the grocery store, you see moms on tablets. There are seniors in, in, in you know, the middle age group, they're spending hours on their PCs researching the best deals. Maybe even you are Googling anything and everything that you, that you need and want. I know I certainly do. The use of the internet and mobile devices has changed the way people get information. There's no denying that. And there's no doubt that is how people are finding listings, agents, and brokers. Real estate lead generation and lead management has evolved. It's not evolving, it has evolved. And buyers and sellers have access to more information at their fingertips than they ever have before. So step one of the six, six steps to great branding for your real estate business is know where your targets are finding you. The National Association of Realtors and Google teamed up for an in-depth report on home buyers in 2012. And the statistics, I mean, look at these numbers. 100% of, of people use the internet, then 89% use a real estate agent, a yard sign, created 53% of the information. I mean, it's, it's really telling where people are getting their information. You know, the old school home book and magazine, 19% said they got information from that. And these statistics continue to, grow, to climb. And with mobile devices, it's nearly 400% year over year, which is huge. Those are, those are big numbers. And those are numbers that you can't deny. So regardless of how the process ends, a vast majority of real estate transactions are beginning online for buyers and for sellers. And you must have effective ways to get their attention online. And, and a few must-haves. You've got to have a modern website. You can't have that old antiquated thing with it, 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 it's hard to read. People just click off of those these days. You've got to have great photos and videos of your listings. It's a, people are typically with internet research, you're looking for imagery. It's, it's about what you see visually. Good search engine optimization. Good SEO. You have to. That's a must have in today's market a good bio, a good about me, a good story across all of your social media and online sites with easy ways to find contact information. You know, I've done some research myself with real estate agents on a side note and notice it's not, it's not easy to find where your, what your phone number is or what your email is. I find the contact forms all over the place, but that's not your contact information. Suppose I want to pick up the phone and call you. And you have to have expert content. Once your target finds you and trusts you, what they find, they're going to act quickly. 
and it's an instant gratification world that we're in with, that we're in these days. We're in the information age. I hear it all over the media. So however your lead is captured through a squeeze page on your listings, a generic search engine lead, what we call an organic lead, whether they found you on a yard sign or a Trulli or a Zillow, do not wait to reach out. Do not wait to reach out. According to an MIT study, you're a hundred times more likely to reach a lead calling within five minutes versus calling within 30 minutes. A hundred times more likely to reach that lead within five minutes of getting it versus 30 minutes. Make sure you're calling immediately. Follow up via email and setting up an in-person, you know, make sure that you pick up that phone and you call immediately. And then follow that up with an email and, and setting up an in-person meeting as soon as possible. Even if you're just calling to set a time that you're going to call back, it's important that you make those calls right away. Step two is to make sure your technology is as savvy as your buyers and sellers. You know, over 50% of listing website page views occur on mobile devices, and so your desktop-friendly website or listing sites, they're not enough any longer. You've got to make sure that you're mobile-friendly. If half of the traffic to your site leaves immediately because it does not look right on the device that they're using, you're losing half of your money. Half of your potential leads are leaving because your site wasn't ready for, for mobile. And what that means is to convert your site to a responsive design, to mold with your leads' needs. You need to provide a seamless experience regardless of the device that they're using. And they're using multiple devices as we showed you earlier. Most plug-and-play websites that you guys have are simple to convert to a responsive design. And if you're not sure how to do this, you can contact your domain manager if you've got somebody that does your site for you. Or just give me a call after today's class, and, and I'll be happy to, to sit down with you. And I may be able to help you with that, depending on what site you're using. So, But we'll definitely help you get in the right direction. But you need to make sure that your site is responsive so that it's mobile friendly. Your site's load time can also be a big factor in today's market. Remember, where I, as I said earlier, we are in the information age. It's that instant gratification. And so you want to make sure that your website is loading fast. You don't want to have a website that takes five or ten seconds to load. That can be the difference of somebody just simply closing the site because they didn't get what they want and looking and just moving on to the next. Search re results render a lot of options. And that you know, if you're loading slowly, they'll take those other options. If one doesn't work in a timely fashion or correctly or render correctly on their phone, they'll simply move on. Other factors to consider on, on your technology is your design layout. You want to make sure it's pleasing to the eye. You want something that's easy to navigate. That's a, a big, big factor in the time spent on your site is how easy it is to find the information they're looking for. And another big thing that's going to help you with converting or generating leads is to highlight the most important pages. If you're a listing agent, highlight your listings page. If you're a selling agent, highlight your Why Sell With Me page. It's very important to make sure you're highlighting the, the pages that's, that you want the traffic that comes to your site to most recognize. Step three is to give away expert content. 78% of consumers prefer getting to know a company through articles instead of ads. It's more trustworthy. Content marketing generates three times as many leads per dollar as traditional marketing. That bears repeating so that everybody understands content marketing generates three times as many leads per dollar as traditional marketing. And that's because the content is trusted 62% more than ad copy. And those are statistics coming straight from Google. Leads who are engaged through content spend at a higher level. And those who feel brands engage with them directly respond better to sales situations. It's about your content. But creating strong content that gets people excited takes creativity and it takes a little bit of work. Spend some time 
spend some of that valuable prospecting time crafting creative content that will engage your leads in a natural way. Make sure you have these factors in mind when you're doing it. You want to make sure you know who your, your actual target is. Who are you speaking to? First time home buyers? Are you looking for people who are interested in buying condos, your seniors? Are you looking for people who may be more interested in buying rural property? You've got a rural property for sale. Is it, is it sellers who your target is versus the buyers? Once you determine who your target is, you need to determine what is the most important thing to them. What is most important to a first-time home buyer? Is it education? What's most important to a, to a rural person? Is it, is it how, what the local area schools are, how far to the grocery store? Speak to the people. What's important to your actual target? And then always include something that tells the reader when you're crafting your content how your expertise benefits them. So who's your target? What's important to your target and how does your expertise benefit them or benefit what's important to them? That's a real easy way to get started in crafting your content. You're going to deliver your content everywhere you possibly can deliver it. You're going to deliver it in blog posts, a website update, social media posts. The most effective form of content marketing and delivery is with video. Video marketing can deliver the same, you, you can deliver the same expert information that you had written down in a nice long blog post or a newsletter via video and deliver it to the audience where they get an opportunity to get to know who you are before they meet you. It delivers a level of trust and it differentiates you from your competition and that's a huge thing when you can do that. And so if you're interested in video marketing, I know that's a big thing and, and I'm sure you've all thought about it in the past. I'll be more than glad to provide a class for you guys on video marketing or even get together with you in a one-on-one -on, -one on video marketing. But that, that's, a, that's a whole other story. But video marketing really can deliver your content in a much better way that gives people a chance to, to see you as different and to get to know you before they meet you. It delivers a level of trust that can create action without you even taking extra steps. So think about that wholeheartedly. But, but deliver it in every place that you can, whether it be a video or written content, on your blog post, on your website, in social media posts, in email campaigns. Get, it, get your content out there to, to show that you're an expert. Step four, you need to be consistent. 95% of online leads convert between the second and 12th contact attempt, not the first. Less than 3% of sales take place on the, on the third contact and over 90% of sales take place after the third contact. That's important information for you guys to know because if you contact them once and they're not responsive, you don't just give up on them. Most real estate agents have been unsuccessful with online leads or lead generation in general because of a lack of a true follow-up plan. How many of us in here are in that situation? Have had that's that happened to us. We just don't have the right follow-up plan and we're not getting to we're not getting to those extra contacts to get them to convert. There are hundreds of reasons why a lead may not convert right away, but proper nurturing and follow-up can increase those conversion rates drastically. And when I think about being consistent, when I think about the stale statistics, and when I think about this this part of this strategy specifically, I always get the late great Jimmy Valvano in my mind, and the speech he made on ESPN when they were honoring him just before he passed, and he said, don't give it with tears in his eyes, don't give up, don't ever give up, and that's the mentality that you have to have when it comes to your follow-up plan. Because the reality is, is consistency is where it's, you're going to convert those leads. Consistent emails and even phone calls are great only if you're providing value every time. Use a tracking tool to keep track of your leads and where they are in the sales process. And the reason you do this is you make sure your calls and emails make sense for where they are. You don't want to call somebody and, and, and be at the beginning of a process or have the same call to somebody that, that is a lead just coming through to somebody that you've been nurturing for the last six weeks. Have a system to track them so you know where they are. If you don't have a CRM system to use, 
use Excel and make your own. You know, and this is just a graphic. This is not an Excel sheet for you guys, but I'll be happy to sit down with you and help you create your own tracking sheet so that you have a way to nurture those leads and move them through the sales process. Take time and invest in setting up a way to track your leads. This simple, and, and yes, I admit it is a time-consuming thing to do in the beginning activity. This simple activity can be the single most important thing you do for your business in 2015. And the time you spend to set it up up front, guys, I promise you, once you have it set up, moving forward with it, maintenance, maintenance of a tracking sheet or a way to track leads and, and, and you know, really have a good system for tracking and nurturing your leads, maintenance on that is usually about 10 to 30 minutes a day. It's adding people in, updating current, current information. Use your calendar to schedule your lead nurturing and follow-up. I can't tell you the importance of scheduling these things. It's going to ensure that you do them. Always have a call to action in your follow-up. Always have a reason or always give them something specific you'd like for them to do. Give them Tell them that you'd like them to call you. Call me with any questions on buying your first home. If you have any questions about selling your home, call me. Call me to set up a time to tour the home. Whatever it is, what type of lead that is, always have a call to action to get them to take some sort of action with you because as we showed in that earlier graphic on that earlier page, that first contact, they may not do it. They may not do it on the second, the third, or the fourth. It's somewhere between the second and twelfth when most of those conversions are going to take place. So always have a call to action because you never know when they're going to take your action step. But be consistent. Consistency creates credibility. Credibility creates trust. And trust is what creates clients. Step five is SEO for local search. This is an important piece to the puzzle. 84% of real estate related searches are made with local terms. The days of searching homes for sale are far behind us now. And, and because internet users know that searches can produce millions of results and localizing those searches can narrow down those results to the really relevant ones to them. I don't know about you guys on a side note, how many times have you searched something and, and you know, I know I have gotten in the habit of using more localized or longer search terms or more of a semantical question to Google because I get a much better result. Most users are experiencing that. There's, a, there's enough time behind us with, with having this technology that people understand how it works now. Your leads are searching for you right now, but your website SEO may not match what they're searching for. And, and here's a graphic. I did a Google Homes for Sale, 477 million results. 477 million results. What are your buyers and sellers actually searching for? Use the right long tail keywords in your content and video titles. And long tail keywords are just extending the search term. Homes for sale in Palm Harbor, Florida. Three bedroom home for sale in Lake St. George in Palm Harbor. Selling your house in the Tampa Bay area. Those are the kind of search terms that your searchers are looking for. And using Google Analytics to determine which of your long tail keywords are performing best and focus on those results. Now again, to show you the difference, homes for sale, same search term, in Lake St. George, Palm Harbor, Florida, produced 180,000 results. Do you think my 180,000 results are more accurate to what I'm looking for versus the 477 million results that I got for homes for sale, that's what search is doing. And you have to make sure that you're including long tail searches. Use these long tail keywords in your content to make sure that you're optimizing for the best local search terms in your SEO. Nearly 50% of listing sites, oops, excuse me, step six is be ready for action. You have to be ready for action in today's market, nearly 50% of listing sites visited on mobile device, 
mobile devices were to get directions to the listing. They were simply to get a direction to the listing. Buyers and sellers are taking matters into their own hands when it comes to their searches and their research for homes for sale or for who they want to help them sell their home. Good SEO and good content, that's going to sure, it'll, it'll get them to your site and it'll even get them to stay. But you must consider the extras to get them to actually take action on your site. Testimonials go a long way in creating trust and creating those actions. Written testimonials are awesome. Video testimonials are even better. Links to review sites like Yelp um, are, are great ways, and, and Google, you know, Google for Business, those are great ways to show your testimonials. Make sure that you're including that as part of your, your online repertoire and be ready to take action. When a lead sees what they like, they are going to move quickly. They're going to go see the listing, they're going to pick up the phone, and they're going to call you. But that doesn't mean that it's a done deal yet. So far, you're just a tab on their computer or their mobile device, nothing more, and there's lots of them underneath it. So far, you're a result in a search, and they've somehow clicked on yours because maybe yours is a top search, and you answer the question more accurately based on your long tail keywords, but, but that's all you are is a term in a search. They can just as easily contact any other agent in that list. So you've got to be swift in following up and be consistent in subsequent follow-ups. And no, I'm not talking about this swift. I'm talking about race car swift. Okay? You've got to be race car swift. Be quick because it's an instant information age. And if you're not swift with it, they're dialing that next number. If you're not answering your calls, they're dialing the next number. If you're not following up in a timely fashion with their leads, they're going to the next site and filling out their form or triggering their lead capture system. You must be on top of them quickly. And, and that means being ready to take action. Be ready to take that call that somebody's going by to see the house. Now, you'll always hear me say, stay safe in your, in your environment, especially in this day and age. Just because they're calling you to go see the house does not mean you need to jump on your horse and go over there right away. Do your rather regular pre-qualifications. Call me up and have me pre-qualify them before they can tour the home. Have them email you or send you their, their, you know, bring them by the office and make a photocopy of the driver's license. Go through your safety procedures still. Even though they're calling you, they can still go by the house while they're calling. They're, they're in an ether moment. And your method of sales is going to still hold true. They'll, they'll schedule an appointment with you. But take the call. Make sure you answer each and every one of those calls or make sure you're calling back immediately. You can't deny that as more and more generations rely on the Internet for their everyday life, they will definitely use it more for their real estate needs. And instead of putting a large chunk of your day trying to generate more leads the old-fashioned way, why not attract online leads where they are, where they're hanging out, where they're searching for what you have? then nurture those leads with a great follow-up plan, and I'll be more than happy to help you guys with a follow-up plan. If you do not have one in place, I'll be more than happy to share with you a follow-up plan that, that actually works. And that's six steps to a great real estate branding for today's market. Thank you guys so much for attending today's presentation. Are there any questions? Does anybody have a question about today's presentation or what we went over? And that's your time to answer any Q&A. And so, guys, that, that's a done-for-you presentation. That's a, it's, it's a little shorter presentation, and you can take your time through it. You, can, you will have engagement through it, so it's going to take you guys um, a little longer to go through that presentation when you do it live because you will generate engagement. You'll generate questions in a couple of different places. You know, as you start to talk about things like... Um, expert content and you mentioned that they should put it on their blog post or website update or social media, oh, how do you blog post, how do you do that, or I don't know how to do video, 
you're going to have people chime in, especially if you've got those smaller groups, those 10 to 15. You're going to have people that chime in there that engage with you in those moments where you get those chances to talk about it. And anytime there's something said about, well, hey, can you help me set up a blog post? You know, that's a great question, and, and I don't have a class on that right now, but I tell you what, I'll find the answer to you, and I'll get together with you and be more than happy to help you with it. Would you give these sheets to the agent or review the content with the agent? Every time I do a presentation, James, I would absolutely make a photo, make a make a you know, make a photocopy, print out a copy of the entire presentation for your agents. Print out an a copy for every single agent, including the back page. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Bear with me including this page. Make sure this gets printed with your copy and every attendee gets a copy of the power of, of the presentation and then yes, you review the content, you're, you're going over it as if you're presenting it to them and if it's in a group you've got the um, uh, you got the projector going and they're looking thumbing through it in front of you but yes, you give this to them because you want them to have a handout or a takeaway you want to provide them with something to take notes on, but more than anything, you want them to have this back page in front of them and, and with you when you start to ask about any questions that anybody has, this page is open in front of them as they thumb through the presentation with you. Whether they read it on the board or they read it in front of them, they got your contact information and that you are appreciative of all of their referrals. This PowerPoint is going to be available Today, Jim, when uh, about give it about two hours after the class, after I end the class, give Chris about two hours on this. He will have the recording and the PowerPoint. It'll be when you go to the members site, go to the members area on, on the, the website, you're going to click on Top Producer Archive. When you get into the Top Producer Archive, you're going to see the class. It's going to be called Six Steps to great real estate branding for today's market. When you click on that, you're going to see the recording and directly underneath it, the PowerPoint will be there for download and uh, be ready and available for you. And James, it's, uh, it's six steps to great real estate branding for today's market. Six steps to great real estate branding for today's market. And uh, guys, this is not one that you're getting into details and showing them, you know, the button to click here and the button to click there. This is more of a mindset class. This is more of a showing them that there's another side of the blanket than doing real estate magazines and having my face on the local bus stop bench, right? This is a different kind of class as opposed to showing them a specific step-by-step. -step. This is more of a mindset class. And the reason I did this one this way is because I believe that doing a mindset class like this is going to open you up for more opportunity. What you've done is you've piqued their interest on some very specific things that they could be doing technology-wise to generate their own buyer and seller leads on the Internet. You didn't give them the specific steps on how to you know, create a, a blog, you didn't show them how to make a video, you just told them that that's going to help them and having that great content, that's what people are finding and you didn't show them how to do SEO, you simply told them that having some long tail keywords that match what the way that people are searching because of the way that Google works now and the way the results come out, that's a way, so you haven't shown them any step by step specific information. If they would like that step by step specific information, sure, I'd be glad to share some information with you. Or hey, let's research it together or let's do this together. But that's an opportunity for you to get face to face. That's a additional opportunities. The presentation is just to give you opportunities. Any presentation you do, whether you're showing them the techie, click here, click there thing, on making a Facebook fan page for your neighborhood or you're talking about a mindset on utilizing the internet to generate leads and the different things you can do with that. Either one of those presentations is to give you guys a chance to, to, to get with them and try to get face-to-face -face in a one-on-one -on -one situation. 
I believe that this kind of presentation is going to give you guys a better opportunity for that. And so that's why I kind of did it this way this time. And don't get me wrong, we'll be doing in the you've got lots of done for you click here, click there presentations. I just wanted one that wasn't a click here, click there, and that's going to help you get those one on ones. We'll we'll do some more you know, click here, click there's and uh and, and you'll have that too. So I have some, come across some realtors who are struggling with business and are computer illiterate. So uh, how would you make suggestions to help them overcome their naiveness to computers? The first thing I'd do is I would show them this presentation and show them the importance of what computers can actually do. And I understand that you are not so computer savvy right now. But looking at a computer and saying you're not savvy enough to, f to figure it out and walking away from it is never going to change that. I tell you what I'm willing to do for you, Mr. Realtor. I will be more than, I, I'm not the most computer savvy person in the world, but I know enough to help me work in today's marketing environment. I would be willing to share with you any information and knowledge I have and help you become more computer literate and start to do some things that are generating or getting you into that internet space in a one-on-one -on -one basis. We'll get together once every other week. We'll sit down for 30 minutes and we'll do some computer training, things I've learned. Any specific questions you've got that I can answer, I'll be glad to. And if you don't have the answer, or if I don't have the answer, I'll be glad to get in touch with my training coach and my technology coach and see if we can't find the answer and be able to get back to you. Does that sound like a fair agreement? Great. Is there anybody you need me to call this week that you met over the weekend that needs to get pre-approved to make an offer? See how that worked, James? It's just you just want to you know appease them. Again, your entire goal is to get face to face in a one-on-one. -on -one. So with somebody saying something like I'm struggling with business and I'm not very computer illiterate. I would show them this and show the importance of it, and then I would simply say, "Hey, listen, I'm not as I'm not super techy, super savvy on the computer either, but I know enough to get going, and and I know that in today's market, you have to know enough to be able to do some things. I would be willing to to share with you any knowledge that I have." as well as any questions that I may not be able to answer, I'd be happy to go back to my technology coach and find that answer for you. Would it benefit you if we got together every couple of weeks to go over just Techie 101, spend 30 minutes and just kind of continuously be learning something as you move forward? Because the, the reality of it is, is technology is not going anywhere. People are not reverting back to not searching on the internet. And so if you want to move forward in today's marketing environment, you, and, and you can't just ignore it. You've got to take steps to learn it. And I'm willing to be there as part of your learning curve. Would that benefit you? Great. Let's do that. Oh, by the way, is there anybody you met this weekend that you need me to call and get pre-approved so they can make an offer? And that's a, you know just kind of go in that direction. But this is a great presentation for that for those people because they're gonna they're gonna say they're not computer lit. I'm not computer lit enough to do that stuff. Okay, well you realize you're in 2014, right? And guess what? 97% of people are starting their on they're starting their home buying process on the internet. And if you're not there, you're you're an afterthought. You're an afterthought. You may get a little bit of referral business, but don't you want to do more? Wouldn't you like to grow your business even when you don't, you know, even in today's market? It's possible. Let me show you how. Let me show you how. Guys, girls, great questions. Um, I hope this class, I hope that's one that you guys feel good about presenting. It's one that I believe is going to give you more opportunities to get those one-on-one, -on -one, those face-to-face -face opportunities those opportunities to say, I'm willing to help you. Hey, let me be part of your help. You know, we talk about that all the time. You know, what can I do to help real estate agents? Offer to help them. You, even if you don't know, even if you're not computer literate, 
hey, I'm not great, really computer savvy either, but I know enough to kind of get around. I'll be more than happy to share what I know, but I also have a technology coach that I have the ability that every Monday I can ask any question I want about any technology and can get the answer. Would it benefit you if we were, you know, if you asked me something or we're working together on every other week and I can't answer what you're trying to do, we'll get, the, you know, we'll be able to tap into that resource. Would that benefit you? If I were able to share that and help you with this with this side of your business, great. I'd be glad to partner with you on that. You don't have to be a computer genius to say something like that. You know, I'd be glad to help you, but I'm not super savvy either. Here's the cool thing about working with me on this, though, is I have access to somebody that is. And I'd be more than happy to any questions I can't answer, get back to him and find out what the actual answer is. Would that benefit you? It would? Fantastic. Let's work together. What's the first thing you want to do internet-wise? You want to get going on social media? Let's get going on social media. You want to generate internet leads? Great. There's lots of ways to do it. How do you want to start? Do you want to do it by getting them to see listings or you want to generate some buyer leads? Here's what we've got to do. What's your website look like? Oh man, we've got to get that cleaned up. Let's go over to Weebly. Weebly does both regular and mobile sites. It's perfect. Because remember, 50% of your people are looking at you on a mobile device. Guys, girls, I know it's a short class, and, uh, and I appreciate each and every one of you. I hope this class is something you guys will take, and, and please do snag it, present it, make it your own, and get out there and show it to your agents. Brand yourself as that guy that knows, that guy that's willing to help them. Um, I appreciate you guys. Glad James, thank you. I appreciate that, my friend. Guys, girls, have a fantastic, wonderful weekend. Enjoy yourselves. I know there's a little warm front rolling all the way through the country. I think my, my buddy Jim, even in Chicago, is going to have a day in the 60s this weekend. So enjoy the, the short little cold front we've got <laughs> or the short little warm front you've got rolling through right now. Have a fantastic weekend. Do something outside, and I will see you guys right back here same time. Same channel on Monday. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you on Monday.